If the purpose of the Liberal government's carbon tax is to offset the carbon footprint of product manufacturers in Canada, then why are certified carbon neutral companies such as Eco Alkaline Batteries from LEI Electronics also subject to the same tax? Carbon neutral manufacturers should not be footing the bill for Ontario's largest polluters. Here's Barry and Innisfil's Conservative MP, John Broussard, with his thoughts before the House of Commons. Now, with respect to the impact on businesses, I have a a business in my riding, LEI Electronics, and they do some great things when it comes to creating carbon neutral or zero carbon products. They have an alkaline battery that is uh, uh, carbon neutral that they sell around the world. And, you know, one of the concerns, and I had them in at a round table, and they actually wrote me a letter, Madam Speaker, uh, dated February 23rd, uh, talking about companies who are carbon neutral certified. Think of the ridiculousness of this. They're carbon neutral certified, and yet they will be subject to a liberal carbon tax. They're carbon neutral certified, and yet they will be subject to a liberal carbon tax. They're doing everything they can. Every bit of investment that they make in their company is to create carbon neutrality. They're actually going to have to pay for this. And the truth of the issue is that this carbon tax that uh, the Liberals are looking to implement across the country is going to cost Canadians. The Liberal carbon tax should be re-evaluated with greater scrutiny. Why should anyone pay an extra carbon tax on a product that is already certified carbon neutral? It doesn't make any sense. Share, like, and comment on this video if you agree, and tell your ward councillor that your carbon-free products should not be subject to the Liberal carbon tax.